What's up guys? Thanks for coming around for part number two. Refinishing the stock on the RPK. Uh, if you watched uh, the first part, we were down to where we'd stained our uh, stock with some uh, red dye. We're going to take it from there and take it to a beautiful shiny shine, just the way I like it. So check it out. See what you think. So we're back. Um, we finished with the RIT dye. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put an overcoat of Minwax. This is red oak. I'm not worried about my fingers too much either. I just dip this, get it nice and saturated, and then give this a wipe like this. Probably just put maybe one more coat if I have to, but this should actually do it. All of the red, dip a little more. Giving it out. Doesn't matter too much because we're going to put tongue oil over this. Just trying to get the color on it. That covers pretty good. You see it? Took away some of the red, which I guess is fine. I was going to do it lighter, but the kid wants it dark, so dark it is. That's done. So that piece is done. Going to just put it back in its place and finish the rest. These are it's real easy. Simply put it some on and wipe it down. That's it. We'll probably steel wool it, and then uh, once we do that, we're going to start tongue oiling it and with steel wool steel wool in between each coat. That's done. Can you still see the red on there? And this will be done in just a sec. If you worry about your hands getting stained, you can use gloves. I, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. I'll go wash my hands. and It doesn't really bother me much at all. If you're careful, you can keep most of it off your hands. So, nice and dark, huh? Make sure you get everything, including the tops, like that. Okay. We didn't really get all of this, so we'll give it a wipe here. This stuff's really easy to work with, covers really easily. And since we already have a base coat underneath, and yeah, I still see the red on that, that's pretty much it. If that color is good enough for me, we'll start to, when it dries, we'll just start to tongue oil it. So we'll be back in a bit. All right, so it's 5.30 in the morning. Got to talk really quiet so I don't wake anyone up. Sat overnight with a stain on it. I've uh, taken some steel wool. That's the stuff. A drupal odd. And then just, I took a little bit of the stain off. I like the red underneath so I few minutes of that and what you got is pretty nice. I'm going to start with the tongue oil in a minute. See the reds in there? Sorry about the sound but everyone's sleeping. So that's one coat of stain. I kind of like the color in there. And then uh, hit this with some steel wool. Takes a little of the, the dark off so I can see those reds in there. See the red under there. Now oh, we're going to take some of that. For your examination, Mr. Smith. <laughs> All right, so my son's asleep. He woke up, and laughed at that one. Rag. A bit of 
tongue oil. Let's do this little guy first. I, I like the high gloss. Some people don't. I like it. You can really rub this first coat in. You can already see that shine we're going to get with it. And that's one. Good. end up putting probably six coats of this on over a week, two weeks. And steel wool we'll do through every coat, get a coat of steel wool or a buffing of steel wool, smooth it out. Look at that, see the reds in there. Looking good. That's the first coat of tongue oil, and again, you're going to have six, I've gone as much as eight coats on some of these. I like a real deep shine. You could leave it like that once it dries, some people would, but not me. I'll get at least probably five, six coats on it. Okay, so between each coat of tongue oil, we've been using steel wool, and then going to another coat and then again steel wool each piece this, this is the fifth this is the fifth coat and now we're going to do a gloss coat so my son's going to be putting on without without using the steel wool for the first time this will be the sixth coat this is what we got now and we'll see uh, the next coat will be the last and that's going to be done So this is the gloss coat going on. Yep. More. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Just pack, put it on there and go. Yep.
You may hold it. You do it. And I'll turn it for you. Just do the top first. Yeah, and then I'm turning it. Look at that. Okay, here comes the other side. It actually works with two people. I'm in the top. I'll turn it all the way around. That looks good. Make sure you don't have any spots we missed. That looks good. Yeah, and then the top right here. And then you, yeah, you take it from here and stick it in the little crease right here. Sideways, yeah. That's done. That looks great. You know how shiny that is? Right in there. Perfect. And we'll let that dry. Cool. Good job, man. Okay, so we're back. I uh, was going to put them all, show you these before I put it together, but uh, I think you can get the idea. Uh, it was a bitch to get this wood back on, some of it, but it's never coming off again. So, if you recall what it used to look like. This is what we got now, which to me is way better. Um, look at that. Really nice finish, and I like it shiny, but if you don't, you know, that's up to you. It's beautiful. Uh, you can see all the grain and a little bit of that red left over. You see the shine on that. So, to me, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, if you ask me now, that's a pretty badass looking RPK if you don't like the wood on your Wasser or crappy old surplus rifle you can get that with just a little bit of work it's looking pretty good um, it still looks fairly original but again really nice grain on the wood okay hey guys getting the man so I did kind of a close-up of the latest project. Just wanted to kind of show you the look of it when I'm holding on to it. So that's my RPK. Just about done. Put a bipod on that right out here. Uh, but the wood is done. If you look at my videos before, you can see what the wood looked like. That's getting better and better. So. Wanted to show you the whole thing. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit like, please, if you like it. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'll be putting more out, including some shooting videos. I'm sure this is going to show up on some shooting videos. So, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, hope you like that Russian look like I do. So, until next time, be safe and be ready. Aloha.